everyone thank you for joining me again on for Dorset catches um, obviously I've come back to High Town Lake um, venturing after after a carp that hasn't happened yet obviously I've been here a few times already and yeah as you can see the matten and that's out already so obviously I've had a fish um, funny enough it's not a bream this time um, I did have one bream on the first day because I've been here for 48 hours um, it's my birthday weekend um, stroke Monday um, Andy come was it Saturday night he's gone he went home yesterday and I stayed for another night and was it it must have been I fell asleep last night like five o'clock really early and <laughs> four hours later nine o'clock my rod stripping line and and we're into a fish um, it's a 17 pound mirror carp I'll show you that in a bit um, the tactics I used for that, I used a PVA mesh bag with, I know it must have been, there's a few lie system boilies inside, I had two lie system boilies on the hair, and the hook was a size a size 6 crank, and it's funny because all, all the other rods have been using size 4s, they've been on and off with a talon, using kickers and everything else, and the one that went was literally just a simple hair on just a size 6 crank nothing special no extra bits onto the onto the rig at all it was literally just the hair um, and that's the one that done the fish so remember it's sometimes less is more um, and it's proved in this case because I've had a carp and I've been struggling for carp on this lake um, so it gives me the incentive that I've had a fish here now um, I've broke the barrier I can come back again in the future but there's a few other places I want to go back to um, I think me and Andy's going to venture on to Northfield next because he's new to the ticket he sort of there's still a few more places he wants to go to um, and I've got a few few other places to go to in the future that fingers crossed it lines up well and, and you can see that later on lovely gnarly looking miracle that's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> so happy with this one. This has taken a bit of work to get, but definitely worth it. I've got to reel in, bring in one of my rods, in, because it took it out while, while it was coming in. So, <laughs> it's quality. Let's take a look at the other side. I think the other side is just as pretty, maybe even better. <laughs> good stuff. Time for a morning cupper after a good night of success. Banging view. So happy with that fish. It's taken a couple sessions to get it, but it's funny because I caught it right in the first first session. Well, the first peg we started in really to to start hunting these carp on high town obviously i still want to probably get one or two more later on um but i broke the barrier i've got that first fish and i think that's the main thing so here we go i'm packed up ready to go on so what a lovely end to to a 48 hour fishing trip had my first carp of high town and like i said what we sometimes do afterwards, we come to the next services along from McDonald's and just the other side of the road from the McDonald's you've got the viewpoint at the New Forest. So, lovely. Just what we wanted to finish this trip. <laughs> 